In this video, we will be discussing um, scientific notation, the metric system, and how to use the EE button on your calculator. So here we go. Um, here are a couple of numbers in number one. Um, write, it says type, but I'm going to say write the numbers in scientific notation. So if we look at Scientific notation is just a very convenient way to write really, really big numbers or really, really small numbers. So we don't have to carry all these zeros around. So um, um, scientific notation is where you have a number and then the decimal point and maybe a couple of more digits after it. And then times 10 to a power. This is the form. So what you want to do is take the decimal from wherever it is and move it just to the right of the first number that is not a zero. So in this case, this is a very large number. The decimal is right here. So we're going to move it from here all the way to here. So the form is going to be 1.34 times 10 to the, and then we count. How many places did we move it? One, two, three, four, five, six. We moved it six places. Now, if the new, if the original number was bigger than what you made it look like, this needs to be a positive power six, and so I leave it positive. Um, let's consider the second example: zero point zero 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 three five four. Um, I need to move it into this form. So I'm going to move the decimal from wherever it is to the right of the first number I come to that's not a zero. So in this number, here's the decimal, and I'm going to move it to the right of the three. That's the first number I get to that's not a zero. So it's going to be 3.54 times 10 to a power. Then I count. I move the decimal 1, 2, 3 four places. Well, um, if I if the original number is smaller and it was 0 0.0000354 than what I made it look like, you may need to make that negative. That's how you put numbers into scientific notation. How do you take numbers out? It's very simple. It's like reading a map. 3.14 times 10 to the third power means I'm going to be moving this decimal three places because the exponent is three, and I'm going to be moving it to the right because it's positive, and right is the positive direction. So it's going to be three, one, four, zero. If you go past one, two, three, you put a zero wherever you have to make a blank. So this turned into 3,140. What about this? 8.75 times 10 to the negative 4. I'm going to be moving the decimal four places, but this time I'm going to go to the left because that is a negative, and that's the negative direction is left. So if I move this, it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. I fill these in with zeros. So my new number is going to be 0 .0008. Seven, five. I've moved the decimal to the left four places. Now, here we go. We are going to rank the numbers from greatest to least. So, they are given, they came to us in scientific notation. What I'm going to do first is um, just look at the powers. Who's got the biggest power? Right here, 1.23 times 10 to the sixth has got the biggest power. He's the biggest number. 1.23 times 10 to the sixth. And then um, who's the next slowest? Um, 10 to the five, 2.54, 2.54, no, three, four, sorry, three, four, times 10 to the fifth, 10 to the fourth, 3.45, Ten to the third, four point five six, and then ten to the second, five point six seven. Um, if we write these in standard notation, um, it's much easier to see. So I'm going to write this one. One point two three times ten to the sixth 
is going to be 1. Move this to 6 to the right. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's what this number became. And then that's this one. Then this number is going to become, move it 5 decimals to the right, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 1,230,000. This is 234,000 smaller. Let me see if I write it in, in line. I'll try to line these up. Um, this is 2, 3, 4, oh, oh, oh. Um, four places to the right is going to be um, 34,500, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then three places to the right will be 4,560, I'm going to move three places to the right, and then two places to the right will be 567. So when you write it in standard notation, you can really see greatest to leadest, but you can already know that by looking at the powers. Okay, here comes the EE button, which I want you to know how to use. Um, so multiply or divide. So let me just look real closely. A is multiply, B is multiply, C is divide, D is divide, E is multiply. Okay, so we're going to multiply. Let me make sure you can see my calculator. Okay, cool. We're going to multiply. Um, oh, can you see it? Is it too? Oh, that's better. Let me do it there. Okay, we're going to multiply. Okay, okay. 5.9 times 10 to the 6. So put 5.9, and when you hit your EE -E button, these little zeros appear, but that means times 10 to the, and I'm going to put a 6. 5.96 means 5.9 times 10 to the 6. So then I'm going to say times 8.92 times 10 to the negative 7. I'm going to say 8.92. Hit your EE -E button. And make your exponent negative 7. And so I multiplied those two. And when I multiply these together, I get 5.2628. Okay, let's go again. B. 7.6 EE times 10 to the 3. Okay. Now I want to say times, times, 8.0. EE -E times 10 to the 8. I want to do that. I get a really big number, which they kept in scientific notation. So this means 6.08 times 10 to the 12. Okay. And then the third one is a division. So I'm going to say 8.8 EE uh, to the negative 3 divided by... 8.92 EE to the negative 7. And that gives me 9865.47. Okay. And then D, 5.1, 10 to the 4. 5.1 EE4 divided by 9.2, 9.2. E E five and that gives me zero point five five. Okay, and this last one is a multiplication. So we get four point two nine E to the fifteen times one point five one E to the negative 4, and this is still in scientific notation. I get 6 point, I'm going to round that to 5, times 10 to the 11th. Now, I just want to double check to make sure I didn't make a big mistake. Um, oh, it looks like I did, so let me check. 5, I like that answer. I like that answer. I like that answer. I like that answer. Uh-oh, no, maybe I don't. Let me double check D. 5.1 to the 4th, 10 to the 4th, divided by 9.2 to the 
this. 0 0.055. Yeah, that's a mistake. 0 0.055 is what I should get here. Okay. 0 0.055. Okay. Let me check the last one again. I have 4.29 EE times 10 to the 15. Okay. And this is times... 1.51 EE to the negative 4. And I get 6.5 times 10 to the 11. Yeah, I like that. I think that's fine. Okay, so that is using your EE button. That's a big deal. Now, um, now we're going to discuss 